Friends, in this video, I'm going to tell you some interesting facts about freight trains in Canada. In some countries, these are called goods trains also. These trains are owned by CN, a Canadian national rail company with headquarters at Montreal. As you know, freight trains are the trains which carry goods from one place to another. Normally, there are 100 train cars in one train. The carriage capacity of one car is 125 tons. As such, the total carriage capacity of the train comes to be 12,500 tons. The length of one car varies between 55 to 60 feet. The train compartments or cars can be divided into three floors. The cars are wind proof and have cross ventilation. The length of one train varies between 1.5 km to 4.5 km. You can see there has something been written on the train in a very beautiful, colorful and artistic way. This is known as graffiti. Graffiti can be simple written words or big wall paintings. It has been existing since ancient times. For example, Greek and Roman Empire. Though writing graffiti on public property is illegal, you can still find it on most of the public places and property. Now let us talk about the railroad crossings. The railroad crossings in Canada are generally unmanned and without barricades. These crossings are managed by digital technology. They only have red light system. When the train is about to come, the red lights start blinking. This is an indication for the traffic to stop. And the traffic stops. You can see a long queue of vehicles waiting patiently for the train to cross. When the crossing of the train finishes, the lights turn green and the traffic starts moving. And that's all. Trains in Canada do not blow horn, rather they ring a bell only for indication. This helps to avoid sound pollution and unnecessary disturbance to the public. Horn is used only in case of emergency. Freight trains are running round the clock and are the backbone of the country. Thanks for watching and please subscribe the channel.